But yes, we're gonna be looking at people who avoided very close calls. Hello? Um, no, no, this is a uh, uh, Jamal. Yeah. All right, you have a good one, officer. Whew. Now that was a close call. If you haven't already, be sure to click that subscribe button and drop a like on the video. And we got that, get that out of here, merch. The new colors, link in the description below, check it out. But gosh dang, I bet when this woman woke up today, she did not think her ex-husband was gonna try to kill her like this, gosh. Look bro, if you want a divorce, just sign the papers. You don't have to get creative with trying to take your wife's head off, man. But you know what? That was a nice flip, bro. That was a really nice flip. Hey, a perfect backflip, nice and smooth. Look, if you want custody of the kids, just go to court. This is not the way to get it, all right? Gosh. Here it looks like we got a white man running from the law. The cops are at this dude's door and he's hiding right on the rooftop ledge. Dang, bro. I don't think that's gonna last that long. Once they get inside and start coming upstairs, you better jump off and get running. And I love on the window, it says Jesus. What would Jesus do? Not hide on the roof? Dang. I'm just glad to see that for once, the person running from the cops is a white man. They're not black. Yeah. Hey, that's one point for black people. But hey, kudos to this dude for getting creative in his method of running away from the police. Man, forget the police. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, listen to everything they do, you know, follow the rules and everything. And if you get in the jam, ask for a lawyer. This guy has to be going through it if he managed to forget that thermometers exist. Are you going to class tomorrow? And then she sent a picture of her temperature. 100.4? Dang, girl, you burning up. And it says, does that mean you're pregnant or not? Oh my goodness, oh geez, wow. Does that mean that you're pregnant? It's a thermometer, bro, it's not a pregnancy test. You dummy, you better get that out of here. That's ridiculous, man. It says 100, probably like his IQ. I mean, 100's not really that, that high, is it, right? Yeah, it's not that high. Well, we all know what's on this dude's mind. He's worried about being a father. This girl is sick and she's burning up and you're worried about if you're gonna have to pay child support or not. You are gonna have to pay it, by the way. It's okay, bro. I got to do, uh, I mean, uh, my friend's got to do it too. Jamal's got to do it. This is uh, uh, Jamal. He's got to pay that child support. I don't have to do it. Yeah. I'd love to know what they had in mind when they planned this room, whoever they are. Why is there a toilet, some toilet paper, and then you got like 20 seats in the back? Back. What? Why? What, so people can watch this person use the toilet? Ew, disgusting. Dishonor upon your whole family. In all seriousness, it's probably just like storage in like the restroom. They just wanted to store the chairs. But still, don't store them in the bathroom so somebody could just sit, grab some popcorn, and just start watching this person go to the bathroom. No, not today. Yeah. Oh, I love this part. This is the part where they use the toilet paper. Are they gonna use it? Oh, they're not gonna use it. Oh, they didn't use it. Oh, such a good movie. That's disgusting, man. But, you know, sometimes after you use the bathroom, you know, you gotta sit in a regular chair. You gotta get the toilet seat indents out of your leg and eye and everything. And, you know, you just need a nice, comfortable chair to sit back and reflect. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes after using the bathroom, I gotta rethink my life. I'm just like, dang, I need to rethink my diet. I just gotta lay off the donuts and I gotta start having some raisin bran. But the toilet paper is kind of far from the toilet seat, isn't it? They're gonna make the person have to like reach all the way like, oh, oh, can't quite get it, oh, can't, can't. This is what they're gonna have in like the new Saw movie. Make your decision, get toilet paper or don't. Had a close call tonight. What is going on with all the close calls? These just look too similar. Rexall nighttime sleep aid. Okay, sometimes you need a sleep aid to sleep a little bit better at night. And Rexall gentle laxative. Ew! There's very much a uh, laxative theme today. I mean, man, if you take those laxatives, you're gonna need this toilet. You're gonna need the toilet and then you're gonna need that chair to sit in right afterwards. Come on, girl. Didn't your parents ever teach you that reading is fundamental? That'd be high key embarrassing. Thing. You think you're taking a sleep time aid and you're like, all right, now why don't I just pop two of them? And then you really can't sleep because that laxative is at work. Disgusting, man. What dog butt? That was the first thing I saw. I didn't even read anything else. I just saw dog butt. I love that's where my eyes go to is like dog butt. Thank God I noticed. Ew, yeah, that's a thermometer, not a pregnancy test. And most thermometers, you put it in your mouth, you stick it under your tongue you know, to get your temperature. But if you stuck the dog butt thermometer in your mouth, oh, oh man, you're, you're done. It's over, it's over. Just leave it alone and go home. Like I said, reading is fundamental. And who has a dog butt thermometer?
thermometer. Ugh, nasty. If my dog needed their temperature taken, I'm sorry, I'm going to the veterinarian. I'm not gonna do it myself. This is not a do-it-yourself video. I'm not gonna make no YouTube tutorials on how to stick a thermometer up your dog's butt. Okay, now first you wanna make sure your dog is standing and not sitting because it's gonna be a lot harder. And then you just gently insert the thermometer in your dog's butt and then you tell them to cough twice. Serious question, can dogs cough? Let me know in the comments down below. Close call, here we go, we got it. What? Oh, look at the ax, gosh, man, jeez. Driving behind a truck and an ax gets thrown through your windshield, dang. Poor grandma, why, why? Who was trying to destroy grandma? What, just because they left you out of their will? Big whoop, man. These people are getting creative and trying to murder other people, gosh. In all seriousness, I'm sure it was an accident. I'm sure, you know, they just didn't tie down the ax tight enough. Or that's what they want you to think. Mm-hmm. Who has an ax in the back of their truck? What are you, a lumberjack? Chopping some wood, chopping down trees? That's a good windshield though. I mean, it stopped the ax dead in its tracks. But let me ask you a question. Ah, oh, okay, that was dumb, that was dumb. I'm sorry, dad jokes, I'm sorry. It was a, it was a good effort, I tried, and um, I'm gonna go home now. Let me ask you a question. Do you think grandma hit her life alert as soon as that ax came crashing through that window? I would have been like, that's scary, man. This is why I just don't drive behind trucks that have like, you know, the open load of cargo in the back. I, I don't trust them. Especially if you can see like long poles in the back that it's carrying. I saw that movie Final Destination. Mm -mm, you ain't gonna get me, not today. And we got almost burst my teeth. Okay, I'm sure they meant to spell brushed. Almost brushed my teeth with this on accident. Ew, athlete's foot cream. Oh, oh God, disgusting. How do you get athlete's foot? Wash your feet, people. Use soap and everything and won't get athlete's foot. I'm not even sure that's how it spreads, but you know, I mean, I, I imagine it's just from not washing your feet well. That would have been really nasty. Brush your teeth with athlete's foot cream? What would that even do? What would that taste like? Ugh, oh god, oh gosh, ew. There's a simple solution to this. Don't keep your toothpaste next to the athlete's foot cream, okay? Like, dang. Almost brushed my teeth with this on accident. Wow, wow. Somebody was trying to set you up. Hey bro, can I borrow some toothpaste? Yeah, sure thing. Here you go. Thanks, bro. Wait a minute. This is athlete's foot cream. Oh, sorry. I had no idea. Uh, that was an accident. And why are you brushing your teeth at 3.57 a.m.? Go to bed. All these young people trying to stay up at 3.57 a.m. Ain't nothing going on at 4 o'clock in the morning. Okay, and we got a text conversation. It says, need bud? And that's drugs. My son no longer has this phone or number. Does he need what? And then they put bud. Hey buddy, I heard he lonely AF. Wow, nice save. That was a good save. We're gonna give you a congratulatory slow clap on that one. Bud, a hey buddy. Yeah, yeah, wow. We all know what you were really up to, Jerome. Okay, we know. Trying to sell that that weed trying to sell them drugs, man. You're not gonna get away with this. And the poor parent was probably clueless. They figured that, oh yeah, that's what the kids say. They just, you know, hey bud, you want a buddy? I bet you some athlete's foot cream that this parent doesn't know what AF means. These people need to get their lives together. Go to school, get an education, or drop out of school, and make YouTube videos like I did, or, or like like uh, like my friend did, and like, you know, one of my friends. Reaction time, and yeah, infinite, yeah, yeah. It was them, they, they did it, yeah. What a save. Do you like anyone? Yeah, you. Um, I have a boyfriend. And then they put, yeah, comma, you question mark. And the award for the best save of the decade goes to this man, yeah! Restoration 100, man. Hey, so if you guys wanna use this trick to see if your crush likes you or not, that's all you gotta do. If they ask, do you like anyone? Just say, yeah, you, and then boom, and you know, you're gonna be good, you're Gucci man. But that's it. That's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click that subscribe button and drop a like on the video. And we got that Get That Out of Here merch link in the description below. Get some, because all the cool kids are doing it. And comment down below. Let me know which photo was your favorite. And if you want to talk to me, just hit me up on Instagram and Twitter at DangMattSmith. DM me, yeah. But thank you guys for watching the video, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace.